Love What I Hate, it's the closest family member to Cobra and the Lotus material. Okay, so it yeah. was a soft break into the album. Even then, it's like, it's not heavy, it, but um, it's still rock and it's still alternative. And so that was why that was chosen specifically to be the first release. I wanted to kind of like soften the introduction a little bit and not freak people out off the bat because there are definitely a lot of creative curveballs on this album. And I'm excited about that too, though. Like I just am so thrilled to be um, all over the place in in terms of me and outside of a box that I felt like I was in with Cobra and the Lotus. I couldn't stretch it any further t without compromising the integrity of it, but I did push it as far as it could go. What are you most excited about when it comes to finally getting this out there and having people hear this new side of you? First of all, I think that there are some songs that are going to be really helpful for some people. I do think there are a couple on the album that will be those songs they hold on to when they're going through hard things and adversity. And just like Light Me Up was one of those for Cobra and the Lotus. So, you know, that that fuels me more than anything to get this out there. And then the second thing is um, to show people the kind of songwriter I am, that I'm a very capable songwriter and how involved I was in Cobra and the Lotus and that I'm also, I'm an artist. I just create things and that can be seen through the creative direct, uh, directing that I've collaboratively done in the music videos with both my band and this going forward but now it's just it's it's really like I get to just show who I am and not worry about other people and then the third thing is that I just believe anytime any of us do something that is aligned with who we are it inspires other people to have courage to do what they want to do and try something new or try a new direction even I've met people you know that are scared to step outside of the line of momentum that they have been in and that's terrifying because I have been in this fear the whole time I've also been building this and focusing on this and so I understand that but there's this like stifling of expression and who they are in the deepest of ways that doesn't get to be liberated and lived fully and so they can't live who they are fully because they don't want to step outside of that momentum or um, box of where they've been put in, try something new, be seen as different. And I hope that it just inspires people to do more of what they need to do for themselves. Yeah, whatever it is, take the chance. I love that. No, that's really inspiring just to hear. Did you have any struggles being a woman in this music industry or was it pretty, did you not really notice anything? Yeah, I, I did have a lot of struggles and actually I still had struggles like right up till the last tour. Part of uh, some of the issues I was actually encountering like with my health as well were I think, I swear to God, part of it was because I was just surrounded by way too much testosterone and I had no space for me to have feminine energy. Um, and uh, because my tours, even though the you know, rock and metal has just been full and exploding with um, these amazing women. Um, I still was not on tour, like very often with them. And my bus would be like 18 men and me. And I have, I have, I have been tested <laughs> in so many ways, like with a lot of misogynistic behavior, like coming and going with um, people we've worked with, even on albums. Like I've had, I've had ridiculous battles that I know that uh, my husband, if he had been in the same position, wouldn't have had to fight. It was because I was a woman. I've had people think I would roll over. I had rolled over a few times in the past, and then I started getting like tougher um, in just the final year because I was like. I have had that. I have had it. Like, I can't deal with this bullshit, you know? So, um, I still, um, I still feel like that is still a battle, actually, that's ongoing. 
I agree. I don't think that it might not ever go away. It might be something that we always have to fight for. I would love to have somehow learned growing up how to assert myself better and not be afraid of it and to learn how to have boundaries. I didn't learn that and I don't, it's easy for many women still to assert themselves without fears of being taken as being aggressive, being moody, being a bitch. And I have um, really found that to be like a mental block for me is, is figuring out the boundaries. And, and what's ironic is that even when you like give too much length and you don't have boundaries, it won't even change sometimes how the person thinks of you anyways. I just wish that could be supported, I guess, a bit more in our society still, somehow teaching us how to, that to be assertive is okay, you know? Boundaries are very important for any human, you know? Absolutely. I was going to ask you, what's your advice for women who want to get into the music industry? And it sounds like that would be part of your advice, but what else would you have to offer them? I'm dealing with so much fear myself right now and such a battle with being in the industry that I don't, I, I want people to pursue their dreams and I would like people to, you know, get into music for the, maybe the best thing I could say right now is just to somehow never lose grip of, of why you're making the music and want to be making things or creating things to not lose the play factor in it and not um, let it get too, too much about seriousness and moving forward and don't let the idea of momentum take over why you really started what you were doing. You have to stay in touch with the roots because that's what will keep you also going through all the adversity that you will face. So, you know, go for it. Look at what other people are doing to help out how to, you know, get started, I guess, just because it is, it's challenging. But at the same time, I'm seeing people on TikTok making whole careers. Like, and I, you know, it's like, it, there's a remarkable ways to get your stuff out right now. If you find the right avenue for yourself, Patreon has changed the game for many people. And you just get all the supporters that you can in your life to jump on with you, even if it's your family and friends to start. And then that can grow from there. There's many avenues. Look at, just dive into what people are doing to start and then just don't lose touch with why you're doing it because that's gonna pull you through the hard things. That's what I have to offer right now. <laughs>